Hi, my name is Basti. Welcome to Basti Plays Minecraft, episode 6. Today, I'm sick and tired of these creepy, creepy crawlies sneaking up on me and ruining my beautiful landscape. Well, future, future beautiful landscape. P potentially beautiful landscape. Yeah, we'll go with that. So today, we are going to take our vengeance on the creepy crawlies and... And maybe save that goat? Still out there, huh? It's probably fine, right? Anyways, creepy crawlies today, they gon' get it. Besides, we need rockets because we have wings now. That means that rocket production is going to have to be a thing. And I, I found a good place to set it up. And I will show you that very soon. But first, we're gonna talk about something I haven't talked about. Because, as some of you may have seen, this chest. Yeah, this is a bit abnormal, right? Well, one of the first things I did when I started this world is I found a skeleton spawner. So I made a little skeleton farm, a little bone meal farm. I can show you where it is. So what you do is you fly out to this village and avoid that thing. And you go in here. And then go down here. And then go down here. It's quite complicated to get to it, actually. Then you come across this ravine thingy, which I've explored a bit. And then you go into this tunnel, which is... Mm, it goes on for a bit. It's quite long. I don't remember. I think I calculated it at some point. Wait, hold on. Let's see if we can fly it. That way we can see how long it is. Okay, here's a good start point. So it... It kind of goes on for a bit here, you know. Through a few of these cave thingies. And when you come through this cave, you should, whoop, I think, no, here. So first, you come in through here to this spider spawner that I haven't done anything with because I don't feel like I need a lot of string right now. Then you get here, which was another spawner. And this time, a skeleton spawner. I can't remember. I think there might have been two spawners here as well. So like three spawners in the vicinity, which is quite crazy. I happened to find this thing while cave spelunking. I just found that the tunnel there was rather close to this skeleton spawner. I was like, jackpot. So down here we have the Schleetons. Look at them. I've just recently emptied this though. But you see, we've got some stuff here. We've got arrows for days if we want to. Just wanted to show this because I realized that I kind of should explain at least where the resources are coming from. Anyways, let's get back to the topic of the video. Creepy crawlies. Are we sure he's fine? Like, are we? Are we? Yeah, he's probably fine. Anyways, I told you earlier that I found a good spot to start our rocket production. So, how about we get over there and check it out? It's right over this way. Here we are, small little mushroom island. This place will be perfect for our intentions. I was thinking we could build a few farms out here. I probably even would like to move my raid farm closer to this place. We even got an Isalia tree here, which is a bit odd. It's kind of cool though. I think I'm going to call this my industrial district. So I could move some farms over here in case I want them. I don't know what kind of farms I intend on building, but maybe, you know, we even got, look, there's loads of these guys, so we could build, like, prismarine farms and stuff. I think there's, like, four or five around here in close proximity, which is pretty nuts. Yeah, look, <laughs> they're, they're surrounding this place. There's, oh, they're all over the place. And with that being said, I think it's just to slap together a quick little creeper farm. A small one, just, you know, for me, for personal use. But I don't know where to put it. I think it will be here, right here. And look, it's already built and it's pretty tall. 
and it's a really cool design. It's a design by Mushuden and uh, I followed the tutorial by Voltrox. I'll link both of their stuff in the description below. It's a really cool design, not too hard to build, except for the entire ceiling is trap doors. And let me just, I'm just gonna go on a bit of a rant here because mm -hmm. trap doors, how is it possible to be that inefficient with materials? Like imagine you're crafting, let's say you're crafting a slab. What do you need? Three wooden plank blocks and you get mm -hmm. six slabs. That's reasonable. You cut them in half, they double because you cut them in half. Yeah, trap doors, less material, smaller thing. Needs six planks. How can you use six planks to do it? I don't know. I can't, I couldn't do it. I don't know. I don't know. I shop down an entire forest for make that roof. It's just insane to me. Anyways, let's have a look at the farm. It's pretty cool. So inside there, you have these little guys, some snow golems. Actually, I'll show a clip of it. So, as you can see here, the snow golem attacks the creepers, and the creepers then just walks into the hole in the center. Pretty efficient, actually. It produces quite a lot of stuff. Here, let me see how much. I did AFK for like two minutes while editing. And uh, look, that's way more than I need. And uh, like, if I would AFK if this for an hour, I'd be good on rockets for a good while. With the farm here, I think it's time we head back home to start working on our other projects. Because I've got some plans today. And you'll see. You'll see very soon. Ah, home sweet home. And look, horse is here. And I haven't officially given him a name yet. And the name I'm going to give you is based of one of my favorite authors book series. So, I don't know if you read it, but my favorite author is Terry Pratchett. And he has a book series called The Discworld, in which my favorite character, Death, has a horse. And that horse is a white mare called Binky. And I usually, in Minecraft, name a white horse, Binky. And this time is no exception. This is Binky. I don't have any name tags yet, so I can't really officially, officially name him. But when I get one, that will be his, her name. The goat, on the other hand, I've got no idea what to name, except Menace. So if you have a good suggestion, put it in the comments and I will pick a good one. That's right. You'll get a name soon, goat. Don't worry. Anyways, we've got a project for this video. And what are we going to do? Yes, we are going to do building. What? Building on this channel? No way. What? For real? Yes. And you won't believe it. Today we are going to build a rocket shop. What? Yes, that's right. In the episode where we are getting rockets, we are building a rocket shop. That is so surprising. Everyone is shocked. I know. Anyways, before we can get to building it, we actually need to do some terraforming. And my plan is we need to widen out this area a bit and in the end i think it looked a little something like this and look now we've got some space here i know this isn't the most beautiful terraforming job i just extended the nature a bit i think when we add more custom trees eventually and more foliage and all of the buildings are starting to get here it's going to look really beautiful now We've got some space to put a building here. Now that we got all of this space, let me just put down an exterior and we can have a talk about it. Okay. And here we are, that is the exterior for the rocket shop. It turned out great, I think. Some things about this that I really like is, for one, these iron bars in front of the windows. Next, this type of fake window thingy, really nice. These ones, these fun little modern extensions to the house. I think those kind of things are really fun. I would have done more with it if I had a larger scale, but this is a scale I could build on today. And I tried a little something with this build as well. It is a rocket shop, so I wanted it to be accessible by Elytra. So I built this, I feel like it's kind of like a bird's nest, like a, what do you call it in English? Fogelholk? I, I don't know, a bird's nest kind of thing. The one you build with wood and a big hole in it. You fly in, birds do, uh, not humans. In this case, uh, I'll 
kind of am a bird, aren't I? Flightless no more, the penguins have wings, let's go. <laughs> Anyways, so for this build, I took inspiration from Studio Ghibli. I had some reference photos that I looked at, and that's where I got the shape and the general color scheme. And other than that, I tried some new details, and I think it turned out cool. I like it. It's a little bit more muted, a little bit less contrasty than some of the other builds. But I think once we start to add more stuff in here, it's going to fit in really well. And that's about it for the exterior of this building. And next I would like to get started on the interior, like this. Look at this. It turned out so great. We have a lot of greenery, quite a few barrels. We got some display models right here and right here. We got a room we don't speak about, quite a few paintings. And up here we have a landing for when you come in with the Lytra. We have a few shelves. And last but not least, we have this, a nice view. And a nice view from up here as well. I think this place turned out actually really great. I am so, so happy with the interior. I really enjoyed making it. Some Sometimes I don't really like making interiors, but this time it was actually really fun. And hopefully it keeps being fun because we are going to build quite a few more things on this world. So let's just hope they don't turn into a drag. That might be a problem. Out here, we've got a new little path that I made. And I think it looks really cozy now. I added a few more greeneries out here just to let it melt into the scenery a bit. So this is the final product and I am really happy with it. Anyways, we are done with the building. That means it's time to take revenge upon the creepers. So, okay, I know what you're all thinking. Revenge, huh? Well, that's a bit extreme, but I think we can all agree that the creepers have deserved it. I mean, they're ruining my landscape. Destroying my fields, ruining my crops, and also the evidence of their misdoings is quite clear. Come have a look at this. Look at that, and look at that, and look at that. What do you think all of those are? Well, it wasn't me. Well, I didn't have the explosives on me. Creepers did that. Creepers did all of this, and also other things, but I couldn't find any else. But it doesn't matter. We need to do something about them. So, what is the plan? Well, I don't have one. That is a problem. The thing is, all I want to do is explode some creepers. And I think I am justified in doing it. So, I will find some TNT and we shall creep on creepers. We are going to blow up creepers with TNT. Because <laughs> why not? Okay, so I had an idea. And I'd like to welcome you to the floating Fortress of Creeper Destruction. So, my plan here now is I will light each of these and I will use my bow and arrows. Wait a minute! Oh no, 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 it's on fire! No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, did it. I didn't. Wait, I didn't. I didn't think that far. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Everything is on fire. Okay, so I've made some modifications. Apparently, wood is not the best material near an open flame. So, uh, let's try this again. Now everything is stone and this should work. Okay, I guess the fire hazard is still there. We could still burn to death. But I thought, let's use the bow and... Choo. Yeah. And then we just place TNT all over this landscape. And then we can just try to shoot the TNT with the flaming bow and arrow. I don't have a flame enchantment on my bow yet, so we'll have to do it this way, but it's fine. This looks visually more impressive anyways. Okay, the TNT is placed. Now we just have to wait for a creeper to fall into our trap. Where are they actually? Oh wait, there is one. Look, we got him, we got him, we got him. Look at this. Ah. I shot the creeper, I shot the creeper. Oh well. Oh, see that? Out there is one. There's two out there. Maybe we need to lure them a bit closer. Hello boys. Wanna come over here for a little bit? Okay, they're coming, they're coming. Now we just need to be aim through, aim through. I mean, my aim is true. 
what can I say? <laughs> the bow is called Creeper's Bane for a reason. Okay, look, now, we got him. Why is it so hard to hit? How hard should it be to aim for that thing? Oh, I got it, got it, got it, look at this. Yeah! Get explodificated! <laughs> oh, is there any more creepers out here? Just, oh, look, there's one. Prime target, prime target acquired. No! Why didn't it light up? And he walked away! What? Coward. Oh, look, there's a creeper right there, next to a TNT. What? Don't walk away! Don't walk away! Come back! I'm gonna explodificate you. There, there seemed to be a small flaw in the design here. It seemed like they only light up half the time. Whoops. Whoa, they were having a party up there. Oh, look, I got him now. Don't walk into the woods again, you coward! Oh, I exploded it. I'm starting to sense that this isn't gonna work as I thought it would. I, th I think we have to scrap this one and move to the next plan. Uh, okay? Yeah, let's let's do that. Okay, new plan. This time, we're gonna do it smarter. If the creepers won't come to our TNT, we simply have to bring the TNT to the creeper. So, my plan is, we wait till it's night time, and then we block out until we found ourselves a good creeper. And then, we place a rail and a TNT minecart, and we get rid of the creeper once and for all. That seems like a good plan to me. Okay, here we are. It's just about to turn nighttime. And I can see a few creepers already. Can I get to that guy out there? We'll get there. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. Sneaky now. Stop hiding among the trees, you coward. Oh, wait, there's a creeper out there. Oh, there's several out here. Look, we can get these guys. We got him surrounded. There's nowhere he can go. Okay, look, we got him. Yeah! <laughs> gotcha! Next one. Dropping. No, 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 there wasn't enough. You gotta do it again. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Three, two, one, deploy. De deploy. No, don't walk away! Stop moving. It's much harder when you're moving. Okay. Look at this. Yeah! Right, what? How, are, are you immortal? I hit you with three of these. We can drop from this one again. Come on. But, uh, yeah, we got him. We got him. He moved, but we got him. There's got to be more guys over here. Creepers. Oh, there, there's one. There's one. We got a guy. Which one? Which way is better to drop it? No, don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't go in the trees. Oh. He went in the trees. Oh, look, there. There we got one. This way is best, yeah. Quickly now. Deployed! Yeah, no, come on. There's two of them right there. This is our last chance with this one. Come on, don't move, don't move, don't move. Stop making it hard for me. He's right in the woods right there. I can barely see him. You can't get a minecart in there. Can I? A little bit of finessing, maybe. Speed for this one. Come on, speed! Speed! Ah, uh, that didn't work out. I have to say, this isn't the most effective way to do it either. Okay, we got him, we got him. Look at this. What? You can't... What? What? Oh, there we go. Got him, look! Yeah! We got him! We got him! Yeah! We got him! <laughs> this is much more effective. <laughs> Woo! Operation Skyfall is a success, everyone. Huh? Come on. Come on. Keep it coming. Get creepered! <laughs> I think I would call this a resounding success. I don't think those creepy crawlies will come and mess up my landscape anymore. Uh, anyways, uh, um. Well, that was fun. I, I will have to do a bit of spring cleaning, but 
the important thing for me is that I got to play with some TNT. And that's, in my mind, all that matters right now. I <laughs> had a blast trying to blast the creepers. And uh, still there, huh? He keeps on floating. Anyways, I think that about does it for this episode. I've had tons of fun. We've built some fun buildings and gotten some really useful farms up and running. And so with that, I would like to say thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please do leave a like on the video and maybe a comment in the comment section below. And do not forget to subscribe. I've been getting some really nice comments recently and it really warms my heart. Thank you all for the wonderful support. And we still need a name for this guy. So if you have a good suggestion, put it in the comment section down below. Anyways, it's been a fun, fun day and a really fun episode to make. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. And until then, bye.